So in the forums, there's been a lot of discussion about um, Crazy Talk's ability to change uh, colors when a character or prop has been configured for render styles. Now the problem is not in the excuse me ability to change those colors. The problem is the way that those colors are changed. Uh, take for example this uh, let's see upper upper torso uh, color here. Uh, if I want to change the color of this shirt to a specific color, I can't actually do that uh, because there's no way of inputting RGB colors or hex uh, colors or binary or any other kind of colors in here. The only way you can do it is by modifying whatever the base tint of that item is uh, and adjusting its brightness, contrast, hue, and saturation, but it's all built on top of the original color. So even if you were to save these colors here, uh, where you have this color that, you know, this nice little uh, bluish, slight, slightly purple color, uh, you have that, this, that nice color that you actually like, uh, you, and you save those values, you know, 55, 44, negative 63, and 0, etc., next time you put these colors in those colors are not going to be the same because it's always going to be based on whatever color is underneath and that is a pain in the butt there's no way to figure out it's near impossible and uh, so there's been a lot of uh, uh, you know people being let down by the fact that you can't actually put the colors that you really want in there in an easy manner and uh, I did suggest a couple of workarounds for the procedure, which involved uh, going into Flash, creating uh, a swatch with the color that you want, importing it into Crazy Talk, and uh, using uh, that as a way to, uh, you know, get that color in there. Now, not everybody has Flash, of course, so this is something that I'm playing around with now. I call it CTA Swatch Maker for now. Um, and uh, it's just a proof of concept. Uh, you know, you put in the color that you want, and you can actually mix the colors exactly the way you want them. You know, they uh, you can type it in there if you wanted to. Um, and then when you're ready with the color, uh, when you got the color, the exact color that you want, you just click the export SWF button, and uh, an SWF file is generated with the color that you actually created here. So you set up all the parameters for the color that you want in your swatch, uh, and you export it the SWF file, and you don't need Flash. You don't need to have Flash in your computer or any other kind of vector program in order to do this. So we've effectively created an SWF file that we can now just drag and drop into Crazy Talk. And uh, we're going to go in here really quick and go into the uh, uh, prop composer. In the prop composer, I'm going to select that swatch that we imported, and I'm going to go into the vector grouping tool. So I'm going to basically, well, there it is right there, find the swatch that I'm modifying, and I want to correspond that one with my upper one uh, group, which is the group that belonged to the t-shirt for that particular character. Once I have that, I don't have to worry about anything else. I could just go back to the stage and uh, you know use the uh, apply select the render style button select my character and boom I have the exact color that I that I wanted so I'm not sure how practical this would be for like a mass distribution type of thing uh, I know it does the trick for my own needs um, if you guys think this is something that you might be interested in, um, you know, I'm, I, I'm sure I can find a way to just like make it available out there somewhere. Uh, but as of now, uh, this is kind of, at least for myself, it's looking like to be like the most practical way of getting the actual color that you want into Crazy Talk without requiring Flash or any ex other external programs other than the uh, the special uh, color picker or swatch maker thingy here, um, so you know it 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 works. Let's uh, let's find a nice color for his skin real quick. Let's say uh, nice like a 
like a dark color maybe Ooh, how about a nice alien green color okay we select that swatch export it there's our swatch right there all right so we just drop it into crazy talk now we know that the uh, the skin one is the one that belongs to the character the, the the character skin so that should be an easy find here so we'll select it go into prop composer select our prop click on that thing right there we map it to the skin one group hit apply go back and now we can select that swatch and click on any uh, uh, any of the characters really and boom we have changed that character's skin um, I don't know I mean it could be useful uh, I just wanted to find an easy way of getting this st stuff done and quite frankly if there was some more documentation on the way some of these files uh, work I would much rather uh, instead of exporting the SWF file just go straight to exporting the prop with the uh, with the styles already mapped to it and that way I wouldn't have uh, we wouldn't have to actually go through the process of you know tweaking it in the uh, prop composer but you know what it's a step in the right direction uh, and it's definitely a way to get the exact colors we want into crazy talk and it's very easy all right, if you have any questions, uh, suggestions, ideas, let me know. What do you think?